Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to be making a multi-grain bread in our bread maker. As you guys know, if you watch Big BC Live, we're both not feeling great, but we decided to get some bread going. There we are. This There's some yeast. Rob's got There's the ingredients a bucket. there. Some milk, some butter, brown sugar, <laughs> actual bread flour. So we got one and a half cups of milk. I put the milk, it was uh, in the fridge and you want it to be at least lukewarm. So 45 seconds in the microwave is what I did and it's perfect temperature. So always start with your liquids. So we're gonna start with our one and a half cup of milk. <laughs> there we are, one and a half cup of milk. And we've got four tablespoons four tablespoons of butter. Put the butter in next. Splat. Mm, that's not gonna end up in there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You've watched me cook before. All right. So... And because it is Halloween, I want to bring you guys a little bit of a horror. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ah! Okay, get back here. Oh, hi. Boy. All right, so we're doing three cups of bread flour. This is my first time using bread flour, but I've heard that it ma it makes it rise better. Ooh. It's got more protein in it, which helps the bread rise. Doesn't look like bread. So let's go with three cups of the bread flour. Most important part about with the bread maker is that the yeast doesn't touch anything. So we go with our bread flour. One. Ah! <laughs> Here we go, and our third cup of flour. So three cups of bread flour right there. Will you stop it? You're supposed to be professional here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one cup of multi-grain cereal. There we are there, so multi-grain cereal. Do one cup of that. Our son loves multi-grain bread, so. But he's gotten spoiled. We have this. Now he wants mom's bread. Not even touched. And it's expiring tomorrow. Yeah. I bought it like five days ago, four days ago. Yeah. Kid won't eat it. He wants, wants mom's bread. So there we go. We've got one cup of the multi-grain cereal. That goes in. One third cup of brown sugar. Yum, yum. In that goes. Plunk. Plunk. There we go. Um, salt. I would say, I don't know, teaspoon. Salt. I do it my way. That's probably at least, a, yeah, I'm sure it's a teaspoon. A teaspoon Perfect. Of salt. And now it is um, the yeast. So I'm gonna move the sugar over to the side here. And I dig a little bit of a hole in the middle here for the yeast. Cause you don't really want the yeast to touch anything until the bread machine is turned on. So there we go. And this is the yeast that we use. Bread, bread machine, for the bread machine yeast. And I did figure out the reason why our last bread didn't work is bread machine yeast has to be put in the refrigerator after it's opened. I can't open it. Um, hmm. Camera switch. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. So with the yeast, that was one and a half teaspoons. I'll put the recipe in the description down below. So here we go. I'm try and get the yeast kind of in the middle, not touching a whole lot of anything else. And there's the one and a half. One and a half teaspoons of the yeast. There we are. And this is just how easy it is. This is our bread maker. We've got the Cuisinart 
Please note bread maker. Um, like I said before, we don't sell any of these items, but I'll just tell you what I'm using. Ah. There we are. We ah. put the <laughs> my camera guy is a little distracted today. Oh, plug that right in there. It's in there. Ouch! Ouch. Whoops. Make sure that your thumb. It's fine. <laughs> There we go. So this is for a two pound. So we go two pound color. We want on the light setting and program. Why don't I remember the, pro oh, it's up here, sorry. Um, and we just want regular, regular setting. So I guess just white, not whole wheat. Yeah, so number one. one and size I can change again it's two pound so that's three hours and 30 minutes and this bread will be ready to come out so we'll see you back here then start off we go and we might show you in between what it does there it goes okay and we'll see you in three and a half hours so we are on rise three and it did beat for us at this point is if you want to is when you remove Ooh. remove the actual paddle so you don't have to remove the paddle you can wait till it's baked to do it your bread just ends up with a bum hole yeah it does so we're gonna do a drop out drop the dough out and just, Hello, paddle. just remove the paddle from there because Take it a is peek in there though you can already yeah it's no longer going to mix anymore so now right back in down she goes and we'll let it do its third rise there we go so this thing actually beeped at us letting us know that it was time to remove the paddle to do yeah. this you gotta push a button Yep, it just does its thing. There you go. There it is, hanging out in there. Okay, we'll talk to you in two hours and 13 minutes. Woo! And we're back. We got an hour and 58 minutes left. Yeah, so it's on the third rise. At this point, if you wanted to, you could roll this dough in extra multigrain so that you had the multigrain all on the outside but it, it looks pretty darn good to us so we're just going to leave it let it finish rising and it will start baking soon once it finishes rising up we might do one more just to show after its final rise and then it will bake she's getting bigger okay we'll see you in well in a minute <laughs> Well, everybody, I would say that the yeast is working. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sucker. It's baking right now, and I don't know if it's going <laughs> to... Put the lid back on. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to lift the lid, most likely. Yeast is working. We got As some good yeast. you can see, there. there's our lid. <laughs> and, yeah, it's smushed right up against the window. Right up there. <laughs> yeast is working. <laughs> Hour and 26. <laughs> we'll check back with you. All right, guys, we are done. We have. Oh, look at the bread. Looking good. I'm going to grab. Um, don't focus on everything I'm doing. Yes, that's my drink. My camera guy. I'm supposed to get the footage. So lift this up. It's going to be hot. Don't touch. Mini Mouse. There we, oh. there we go. Good job, bread maker. Over to. Look at this. There's the container. And look how high that bread came up out of that container. Oh my goodness. Turn her upside down. And there she is. Miss T pinched a loaf. <laughs> oh my 
goodness. House smells delicious. Oh yeah, the the smell throughout the house is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So we'll get us uh, slicing it after this cools down just a little bit. Our son's already wanting a piece of it like now. Check the bottom there. Yeah, just a little bit of a bum hole. <laughs> but yeah. that ends up being quite the large um if you don't take the paddle out which you don't need to take the paddle out but no here let me definitely... let me do a little oh uh, you should let it cool i should but our son wants a piece and it's bedtime for him so we're gonna do just and fluffy i'm gonna do one more piece and i'm gonna give our son a piece but there you go we'll put the recipe in the description whoops it's, it's because it's too hot yeah you're not it supposed is, to cut it right it now. is too hot shouldn't be cutting it yet but patience is not a virtue in our house no it's not anyway there she is and there it is i don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it but it smells amazing Mm -hmm. There's our slices there. Let's see Smells if we can delicious. get in there and get some of those multi grains. Multi grain bread in the bread maker. We will put the recipe in the description. Oh, the steam is fogging up the uh, lens there. <laughs> All right, much love. We will put the, uh, like she said, we'll put the ingredients and instructions in. And yum, we're going bread now. Enjoy.